good morning. It's Monday, which means it's the start of a new week, which means it's the start of a new vlog, and I am starting it at my desk because of course I am. I'm moving last week's vlog clips onto my computer right now. That's why I'm at my desk, but I've already gone ahead and I've made my weekly to-do list and today's daily to-do list, so let's go through that together. So, on my to-do list for the day. Uh, I need to film a podcast episode. I wanted to Friday and I just wasn't able to because of a circumstance and that's fine, but I want to do it today. Um, so I need to start editing a video that I filmed week before last that was supposed to go up today, I think, but I'm probably not going to have it done in time. Uh, I have yoga at 12.15. Going to that goat yoga class made me realize how much I enjoyed yoga. And it turns out yoga classes are a lot cheaper than Pilates classes, which I take Pilates. And I had actually been wanting to upgrade my Pilates subscription to like be able to go more often, but just doing yoga one day, Pilates the next day, and alternating is way cheaper and easier than doing Pilates more often. So I have my first yoga class today at the studio I'm trying out. I need to do laundry. Y'all, the house is a mess. It's not on the to-do list today, but if I have time, cleaning is absolutely something I want to do today. Honestly, we just didn't do any of it this weekend because we had our friend in town, and so we weren't we're trying to clean, you know, but it's uh, back to reality, so I need to clean the apartment because it's giving me agita. I also want to start writing a script for a sponsorship for the main channel. And that's the to-do list. We have a pretty light workload this week, but I think what I'm going to do now is these vlog clips, they're going to take a while to get onto my computer. I'm not going to stress about that. I am going to go ahead. It's 8 a.m., by the way. I'm going to go ahead and just start getting ready for the day so I don't have to deal with it later. Um, and if you hear that, it's the cats. They're fighting in the tunnel. Y'all, remember when I got this tunnel? You remember this tunnel? They are so, so... Honey's in it right now. You can see her tail. They are so into this fucking tunnel. Update. It's a little bit later. My forehead is still big and very in the way, but I've gotten ready. I filmed a podcast. I'm doing some laundry stuff. Um... The power went out in my apartment for like a second, so I have to re-send the vlog clips to my computer, which that's happening now, but it's 11.55, I have to go to yoga. Let's go to yoga. Y'all, I'm in the car at the yoga place and I'm nervous. I'm nervous because it's not like, hold on, I need to clean the camera, but I'm still gonna talk because why not? I'm nervous because I am okay with like working out in public when I'm comfortable in the space, but I don't know the space And I don't know the people um, So I'm nervous, but I'm excited and I'm gonna go because I think I like should get there early since it's my first time So I can like sign in and like meet. I don't know do something. So I'm probably not gonna record this time um, But maybe next time Okay, I am back home and the pets are all greeting me. Hello. I'm gonna give a review of the yoga place. I really liked it. The vibes in there, like ambiance and aesthetic wise were really great. A little warm in there, but I think that's just like the building. I don't think I'm gonna record in there uh, ever. They take yoga seriously, and not that I wasn't expecting that, but I just kind of was affirmed when I went that the vibe was not to record. It was our shared space and exercise, right? So I'm not gonna be recording while I'm there, but I am getting, I'm working on getting better. He's falling asleep in my arms. I am working on getting better at filming in public more, so maybe I'll film Pilates instead of yoga. I'm gonna cuddle my cat for a little bit because he's being so baby. And then I'm gonna bathe and then we'll be back at some point, probably to eat. Update. It's several hours later. I really just did some cleaning and stuff. You can see Casper's nose <laughs> Because he's in my face uh, Lexi got home. We just hung out. We talked about our days and now we're gonna just have like some quiet Reading time with like some nice music in the background uh, But yeah, there's your update. Um, not exciting because I didn't do anything exciting. We do have exciting stuff in the vlog this week, okay? We're going to a concert on Wednesday. That'll be cool. But today was a little boring, and that's okay.
I'm not doing anything. I'm editing, I'm editing an ad. Sorry, I haven't like done much this morning. It is only 9.30 in the morning, um, so calm down. Nobody was, yeah, you guys were calm, right? I don't know why I said that. Anyway, I'm editing. Update, I'm done editing. I've changed into something I can work out in and I'm going to Pilates and I'm bringing my camera up because today might be the day I record. Don't count on it, okay? We'll talk about it if I don't, but I might. Okay, I'm done with yoga and, not yoga, Pilates. I'm done with Pilates. Um, I realized my camera wasn't recording the hardest part and also the part where I arguably looked the best. And I am actually annoyed about that, but I'm not letting it bother me because I'm being proud of the fact that I just filmed myself in public working out. If you're a long-ish time watcher, you know that that is a, is a fucking feat, right? Because I don't do that. I don't like filming in public, and I don't like, I don't like working out in public, and I don't like filming myself working out, and I just did all of those things at once. So if you haven't liked the video yet, maybe do that. <laughs> now we're gonna go to Target because I have a few things that I need to get. Really just house stuff. Let me look at the list. Yeah, hangers, air freshener, plugins, a new lighter, uh, really two like picture frames. I'm getting random house things, but we're going to Target. Good morning. <laughs> Obviously, it's the next day. Basically, I didn't do anything vlog worthy when I got home from Target. I just did some housekeeping stuff. And then Lexi came home a little bit early from work. And so we just hung out and had a good evening last night, like without a camera or anything. But we have a busy day today. And I'm going to plug my camera in because it's going to die. But I can plug it in and still record, which is awesome. So today is Wednesday, which means that it's the baby metal concert tonight in Houston. Uh, so we have kind of a, not necessarily a chaotic day because I don't have too much to do. I just have like back to back to back things, even though they're longer things. Let me read my to-do list. I need to finish writing a uh, video script for the main channel. I need to start editing the vlog from last week. I have yoga. I need to shower. I need to get ready for the concert. I need to um, help do Lexi's outfit because she's at work. She knows the main stuff she wants to wear, but she needs me to add accessories. So I need to pick her outfit out. Um, what else? I mean, I just, we just got stuff to do until we have to drive for two and a half hours to be at a concert at 7.30, do the concert, come back the next day because Lexi still has work in the morning and Casper's getting groomed at 8 a.m. tomorrow. <laughs> So it's gonna be a long day. Even though I don't have too many tasks to do, it feels like it's gonna be a long day. Um, so I don't wanna dilly-dally. I, I don't wanna dilly-dally. I don't even say that in my regular life. I don't know why I just said that. I'm gonna work now. <laughs> Update, it is a few hours later, I'm back from yoga and I just got done showering. What we're doing now is we are accessorizing Lexi's outfit for the night. Lexi is at work, obviously it's a weekday so she's at the school, uh, but she picked out, she picked out the dress that she's gonna wear tonight, uh, but she picked it last night and I have been assigned to the task of punkifying her dress. This is what she's wearing. She's it's a little glittery, little mini dress, super cute, but not very baby metal. That's where I come in. I already have two things in mind immediately. First being this belt that we could also clip some more chains to and we can get it even punkier. I got these. Yes, I went to Spirit Halloween again. But I didn't get that much stuff. One of the things I did get, it was mostly like rave costume stuff actually when I went. 
But one thing I did get are these spiderweb tights that I haven't worn yet, but I think we can make work for her outfit because I do have some fishnets and I do have like thigh highs and I even have fishnetted thigh highs. But those all fit my legs and I'm 5'11", Lexi's 5'2". I have some random add-ons that I can add to that belt, so I'm gonna add them. I feel like I have to try this on to make it work, but I know that this is gonna show my entire asshole because it's already short. It's especially short because she cut it because again, Lexi's short. I think I do have to try it on. Okay, give me a sec. Now I can try these belts now that I'm wearing this dress. Would double belting look weird is what I need to know. Yes. Short answer, yes, it would. Okay, that's not horrible. We got some asymmetry in the chains going on. Ooh, I don't know if these ties are gonna fit her. We'll find out, we'll find out. I have some backups if these don't fit her. I'm thinking we need something for the wrists. I have spiky bracelets, but I think I'm gonna wear them. So maybe we're gonna do, ooh, wait, wait. I don't know if these are gonna match, but I have these trip gloves. Mm. I don't know though, is this giving like what Disney's version of a, ignore the camera shaking, it's on the cat tree and Nobu's also on the cat tree. Is this giving like Disney rock though? Ooh, fuck low key, yeah. Okay, maybe no gloves, maybe no gloves then. We can still look for accessories. Okay, I added, I added two necklaces. I added this choker and this hanging man, the hanging skeleton. It still feels empty, but I really, I'm like not sure what to do. But also it'll look better on her and I'm trying to remember that. Also for her hair, I think I'm gonna make her, not make her, but I think I'm gonna have her do these skeleton hand clips because she does this really cute little hairstyle where she'll put it up in two small clips in the back and it looks really cute and that has that punky aspect. I don't know, I don't know what this is missing and it's annoying me. I think it does need gloves, but I also am just really worried about that looking Disney rock, kind of. But I want something for the arms. I think I'm gonna give her the option of the arm gloves because it could be just a me thing. Also, if you hear angry cats in the background, they're playing, it's fine. But here is mostly what I'm thinking for Lexi's fit. And I really hope she likes it because she's trusting me to do this while she's at work because she doesn't have time to like, do it today because she has a very important meeting today and we have to go basically she has to go right from this meeting right to her car right home to quickly change and then we have to leave because the concert's in houston so i'm just hoping that she likes what i picked <laughs> okay update 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 uh, I did some last minute work stuff. I finished editing a vlog. I can't believe I fucking started and finished that entire vlog today. Um, but it is 3.34 and I need to start getting ready because Lexi said that she's gonna be home at around 4.30. I have my base outfit on except the jacket. I'm just cold. Um, and we're gonna do my hair and makeup we're gonna do just my makeup. I'm gonna have to do my hair off camera because I have the like hair straightener slash styling thing that I have is one of those ones that's like a blow dryer that you like curl your hair with. It's really loud. I just don't wanna use it on camera, but I most certainly can do my makeup on camera. I'm so confused. Sometimes, okay, I think I've mentioned this before. Also, I'm gonna do something I usually don't do and I think I'm gonna prime my face because I do want this to last a long time. I don't read my like YouTube comments after the first few hours of a video being up just because it makes me really anxious. I really, I really don't like looking at comments. I don't read my DMs. I just don't like doing it. It doesn't make me feel good. But the YouTube app, loves to sometimes just do this thing where it shows you comments anyway. Uh, it just randomly will notify you of a random ass comment. And I'm confused about this one because they're talking about Jenny, but 
it's not on my idol video. It's on the video I posted about that queer dating show. I didn't mention Jenny in that, did I? But they commented and said, I understand that Jenny from Blackpink, by the way, that's who we're talking about. They said, I understand that Jenny has been lazy lately, but if you look at the performances where she isn't lazy, she is amazing. Y'all love to hate her, but she is the, the it girl. Y'all stay mad with three Chris emojis. Jenny's my bias. I'm confused. <laughs> I also, again, I don't think I mentioned Jenny in that video. Did I? No. I don't know. Maybe that's just a K-pop thing, you know, where they just comment stuff on random posts, you know, like whenever Orbits would comment like stream Luna on everything as they should because you, well, don't stream Luna. Actually, we're not streaming them anymore. Anyway, that was just weird and I just got the notification, so I said that. <laughs> I'm gonna color correct by using this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. Um, and I put this under my eyes before I do concealer because I have dark circles and my dark circles get darker in the evenings. And this concert is in the evening, so I can't have that. Since this is a pretty dark um, lip thing, I'll go in with this Fenty Beauty Eye Brightener that my fucking mom gave me randomly a few months ago and I'll combine it and then we'll blend this out and then we do the concealer. Oh yeah, I didn't tell you guys like what I'm going for with this look, um, but we're going for, we're not doing anything super crazy, super like, okay, chill. We're not doing anything super like hardcore rocky. Honestly, the makeup is gonna be more of just like a darker toned Douyin makeup because I don't really love doing heavy makeup, but I, I, I think that's just cause I'm not very good at makeup. I'm like, okay, right? Like I can do eyeliner. But there are people, oh my god, I have some TikTok mutuals that are so good at makeup, it's crazy! And I'm not one of those people, so... I also just don't think I have one of those faces that, like, looks good with a lot of makeup. I don't know. I think that might just be me being insecure. <laughs> set it! We're gonna set the face! And we're gonna use, like, a lot of setting butter because we need this shit to stay in place. So we're gonna pack this on. <laughs> Next, we're gonna do nose contour and blush. None of these are gonna be different from my usual, like, nose contour and blush. Oh yeah, I think I've said this, but for my contour, I just use, I can't even tell, oh, I can, because it's on the back. This is, well, no, I can't, because it doesn't say the name. This is a Morphe palette. Um, this is all that's left of the Morphe palette. Wait, do I still have to talk to it? I do, because it has a mirror. Oh my god, oh my god. This is Midnight Dune by Morphe. For blush, we're combining my two ColourPop blushes. I am going to start by doing the shade Prairie Air. I'm gonna take this brush, which is not a blush brush, but I use it as one, and I'm gonna tap into the center of my cheeks and my nose. Now we're gonna take an actual blush brush from Lunar Beauty with nothing on it but the excess blush that was already there and brush it like outward and upward until there's not that harshness. We still want a lot of blush just cause that's the look I like, but not the harshness. Then we take this darker one from the Sailor Moon X ColourPop collab in the shade Cat's Eye and we tap it a little bit and we add more. We look like we're wearing a lot of fucking blush. You can't tell on camera, which makes me feel a little, I know, not annoyed, but trust me, source trust me, bro, okay? I look very blushy, which is good because that's what we want. Cool, next, eyebrows. I actually have gotten a new brow product recently, so you guys, this is, this is some insider secrets here. Um, I got a ColourPop Clear Feather Effect Styling Wax. It's for the soap brow, but I don't use it as that. I use it to just stamp my fucking eyebrow hairs down because I don't like when they move. Next, we're gonna take the Anastasia Dip Brow. Guys, I just got this for the first time ever. I've been using it. I didn't like, this isn't a first impressions. I've been using this recently because I got it a few days ago, last week, I don't know. Um, I'm very late to the party on this dip brow thing, but y'all, this is awesome. 
I don't know, maybe you guys just weren't doing it right. I feel so late to the party because everyone has moved on to the point where they've completely changed sides. People now are anti-dip brow because y'all had bad brows. But I'm sorry, I don't have bad brows with this product. Not saying it's on you, but it's certainly not on me. Something I've noticed recently is that my eyebrows are two different, like, widths. This one's thinner than this one. Uh, and I don't really know what to do about that. And it is a subtle thing, but honestly, in a weird way, you can notice it more when I move, like when I'm talking and expressing things. <laughs> I don't know, there you go. After I do my brows, I actually like to press some setting powder like onto them just to ensure, especially on like the ends where the brow, like tail of the brow is kind of exclusively drawn on because I shave my eyebrows a little. So I like to tap setting powder onto my brows and then take my setting powder brush without any product on it and I kind of just like tap away, wipe away the excess. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of eyeshadow from this ColourPop. I really am a ColourPop girl. I fucking love ColourPop because they make good shit and they're cheap. So why wouldn't you like ColourPop? Actually don't, I'm gonna pretend I didn't ask that uh, because I don't, maybe they're problematic. I actually don't know. This is the Aurora Struck palette from ColourPop. It's really the only big palette I use. I do have like another big palette for not like special occasions, but it usually is a more special occasion whenever I need to use bigger palettes. But anyway, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start crafting. I'm gonna start crafting with this and you'll see how it goes. Here's how we're looking so far. We're getting there, okay? We're getting there. Trust the process. Okay, here's how the makeup turned out. I kind of regret putting this lip color on, but it's fine. I have to do my hair really quick, and then Lexi's gonna get home and get dressed, and then we're gonna hit the road. We've made it to Houston. It was quite the journey getting here. There, was, there were several different types of obstacles, but we got here. <laughs> and we are so excited to see Baby Metal. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So, it's the next day, obviously. It is 7.44 in the morning. Casper is getting groomed at eight, which is why you just hear heavy breathing in the background. It's my dog, not a person. Anyway, we are going out of town basically right when Lexi gets home tomorrow again. Uh, but we're going for the weekend. For Labor Day weekend, we're going to my family's lake house, which we have been looking forward to for weeks. So that will be good and fun. I just have a lot of stuff that I have to take care of before then, you know? But there's your update. Casper's about to get groomed in the appropriate way, in the dog way. Update, Casper is back from the groomer and he looks so good. He's so soft. He got his trim and his wash and his nails and his ears all clean. And now we're doing a, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. We're doing a taste test because we went to this place called Wolfgang Bakery and Grooming. So it's partially a groomer and partially they just make like dog cookies and cakes and cupcakes and shit. So I got him two. I'm not gonna give him both right now because while they are dog safe, I just, they're treats, you know? Um, I got him this like chocolate donut. See how he feels about that. He's weird with things that have icing. This is, this is that, I just handed you that. And then I had to get this one because it says all clean. Do you like this one? Is this one more calling to you? Here, let me break it off. Take it, eat it. Eat the cookie, Casper. Okay, well, ew. My dog doesn't like cookies. What the fuck? 
You're so weird. Okay, well, these are yours. I don't know why you're drooling, because those are the only things I have. And that's all you're getting, so... If you're disappointed, that sucks for you. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go home and do some editing, and then I have Pilates. Update. It is... Uh, 1.30. It's 1.31. I just got home, and I'm about to eat. I got home from Pilates, which was actually harder than usual today. Now, for lunch, I'm having these holy veggie, vegan, gluten-free cauliflower buffalo wings. And I'm very excited. And I'll update you when I do something interesting. I kind of don't think I have anything interesting to do today. So that's cool. Here's something mildly interesting. I am, can you focus please? I'm gonna try to paint this, but I'm gonna obviously not perfectly recreate it. I'm just using the pose as a reference. And this blank space here, I'm gonna add some wings and do like a cool, maybe like a techno fairy or like a dark fairy or something. Um, this is what it looks like so far. I literally just started and I was like, oh, I should vlog this. <laughs> Update that painting I was working on I completely stopped working on it because I got to the face and I was like mm, This isn't going well, and it's frustrating me So I threw it in my closet and then I pulled out a different canvas and I played with some oil pastels that Eva gave me um, And I this is what it looks like so far And I've never used oil pastels on canvas and I also don't think I've used oil pastels since like middle school So I don't really know what I'm doing, but I mean I like it so far but now Lexi's home from work and we are gonna watch Adventure Time. <laughs> and apparently that's it for this video because the last bit of that clip and the clip after where I like say goodbye and stuff just not working with my editing software for no reason uh, so I'm ending it here sorry this one was a little bit shorter and a little bit boring but it's okay because life is boring sometimes sometimes we have too much responsibilities and not enough fun but next week it'll be fun okay Thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, like the video. If you liked the video, comment on the video. Uh, if you liked the video, subscribe to the video maker. If you like cats, you can also like the video too. Because Nobu needs his presence seen, of course. Um, thank you, and see you next time. Bye.